let's get to crafting with some really fun pieces that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. The first one is this piece of metal with the wood frame, and it was for $10.99, so which in terms when it is on sale for 40% off, I would highly suggest to grab it then. It's already got your twine hanger on it, and we're not gonna actually do anything with this. It is ready for us to go ahead and assemble. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this off to the side, and we're gonna bring it back. Then I went ahead and I went and bought the package of stars, which there's four in a the package, and they're $3.99. And we're just gonna need one of those, so those you can go ahead and use um, to your liking, whatever you're going to plan on making next. Um, again, if you're gonna do this with some friends, go ahead and just share the cost. Next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna paint this blue and you can paint whatever you want. And we're gonna do some white polka dots. So where I, what I got is I got deep midnight blue. You're gonna need a button. You're gonna need some twine, some Spanish moss and some paint brushes. And that's pretty much it kids. So let's go ahead and let's put some deep midnight blue on our plate and we're going to go ahead and we're just going to go ahead and do a top layer and you can pick it up lay it down whatever to your liking we're going to go ahead and paint that edge it's just a real thin piece of wood you're also going to need your glue gun if you need to speed up the process for sure grab your dryer and you're going to need some scissors you're gonna go ahead and keep the brush strokes to go the same way as your wood grains. Again, it just makes the paint go a lot smoother. And this wood, since it's so thin, I'm just saying it may feel like it's warping a little bit, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hot glue that down to that cute piece of wood with that metal backing on it. You see, I still haven't washed my hands from the last paint little episode I just did. I figured if I already got my hands dirty once, we'll just leave them dirty because they're gonna get dirty again. And I'm gonna say one coat is all you're gonna need because we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put some white polka dots on it and we're gonna do some dry brushing of white over it. So one coat of blue is all we're gonna need. And I've said this in the past, if you have some little excess paint on your plate and you have if it hasn't been on there for more than 10, 10 minutes or so, go ahead and put that back in your jar. And then that way then you're not wasting any paints. Okay, we're gonna take that dryer. We're gonna dry it real quick. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grab our white. And I usually use the snow white. If you like a little bit more of a not white white, they do have one that's called snow, or not, warm white. And go ahead and grab that one. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do our method. We're gonna fill the brush and we're gonna tap it, okay? Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take that paintbrush and we're gonna go straight up and down. And we're gonna put those little cute polka dots. I like my polka dots. And if you've got a star stencil, you can use a star stencil on this. Okay, so since those are all on there, we're gonna make them a little bit darker. And then I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna take that and I'm gonna go all the way across. Get some of those darker on the edges with that white paint so it looks super cute. Okay, there's your star. Super easy. And we're gonna go ahead and next thing I'm gonna do is before, let's look at this and see how we like it. I thought about maybe doing some lines and poke it, like our little swishes, our lines and dot, dot, dot around it, but I'm not gonna do that. I like the way it looks. We're gonna leave it just like that. So let's take that paint once again. Let's put that extra paint in our jar because no one wants to waste paint, do we? No. Okay, so we don't need any of this. So let's get that out of our way. Again, we bought this at 40% off, and this was um, $10.99. So I'm going to take that glue, our hot glue. I'm going to go around the perimeter really quick because you don't want it to dry on you. Make sure you put some in the middle. Set that back up. And I'm going to make my lines go sideways. And then put some pressure on it because like I said, when you put that wetness on there or that paint, it may feel like it's warped a little bit. 
So there you go. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bundle of Spanish moss about right here. And I'm going to go ahead and glue that on here. And then we're going to wrap some twine around this little cutie patootie. Okay. So let's go ahead. Let's bring this around. And I'm going to tie it in the front. That way we got that extra tie to be hanging down. And I do have a button, again, like I said. So go ahead and tie that like that. And then just go ahead and hold your sign. And then just keep going around and around. And it doesn't really matter how many times you go around. It's to your liking of how you want your twine to look. If you want a lot, a lot of twine, just keep on going. And then once you get to the liking you're liking the way it looks, go ahead and find your spot where we tied that first, which is right there. And then you're gonna go ahead and make that tie. Go ahead and pull that tight. Use your finger there. And then go ahead and bring it back down in front. And then go ahead and make a twist bow, like what we do. Go ahead and grab that for a tie. Go around and around and around. Pull that apart so you have a nice cute twine bow. And then go ahead and get your tails from what you tied on there down. And then again, we're just gonna do the same thing here. Glob of glue. And if you don't like the Spanish moss, it's okay. You don't need to put it on there. I just, I like Spanish moss. Like I said before, it just gives it more texture, softens it up a little bit, super easy. Now, if you want, you can go ahead and tie your, or cut your little ties, your little strings, and then take your button that you found, whatever color button you like. This one like a little gray, a little gray blue tone to it. And that's it. Gonna hold it for just a little bit longer because my tie was a little bit tighter. Okay, there it is, guys. Super easy, super quick. If you like what you saw, go over to our YouTube page, like our channel, follow us, share it, and go get your supplies and make this really cute hanger for yourself for the 4th of July season and Memorial Day weekend. Okay, bye, guys.